Captain's log. Stardate. Now. We landed on the planet that my predecessor talked about. I looked for the data on the indigenous creatures. Jordy told me to take a look. It's in a book. Some weird synth began to play after that, and I'm not sure why. <laughs> <laughs> Reading Pikmin. <laughs> Available now with all your local courage reactors. Captain's yeah. log. Start it now. I talked to my friend Deanna Troy the other day, and then she found out when I was in her quarters talking to her, I found a weird black and star-spangled theater. She talked about it today as Donna Troy. I got the names confused all the time, actually. <laughs> in Mass again, quotation marks. In Mass Effect 2, when either they create more problems or it just it, it... Captain's log. Well, it's, it's a little Ooh, of email. In Mass Effect's case, it's a bit of column A and B, actually. But oh yeah, go ahead with your captain's log, Picard. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Or I guess not. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do it no more. Good work, Captain's everybody. log. Start eight. Now. We found a new piece of technology on the planet. Riker. It zapped Riker and it grew a beard for him. He looks much better. I tried it on my head and nothing happened. I threw it away. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. Uh, oh, are those the, 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 the little fuzzy things that bothered Kirk? Or, <laughs> you know, you never well, make me wonder why Captain Picard never used a hollow deck to give him a headset of hair. <laughs> or just a toupee like Shatner, but whatever. It's a toupee, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yet Riker gets a beard. <laughs> yeah, and it's much better for it. <laughs> Captain's yes, log, start eight, now. We searched the dwellings of the uninhabited planet, and in one of the closets I found a gold lane jumpsuit I called Warfover. He was most surprised and delighted, oddly enough. I didn't think Worf would be into that sort of thing, but wh whatever. Original Klingons. Oh, now I get it. Eh. Uh, eh. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Captain's Log, Stardate Yesterday. Um, uh... Patrick Stewart left the set for some reason. He said something about, like, um... Q's log, stardate, whenever I feel like. Shut up, Ted. Uh, he, he said something about uh, stopping the Brotherhood of Mutants. I, I I don't know what he was going on about. Hey, Dad, you that's didn't a come completely home. Different, that's a completely different continuity, Ted. We're in Star Trek. <laughs> uh, I, I love... Meanwhile, out to my gig on My Little Pony. <laughs> <laughs> Captain's log, stardate... Now, I was talking with Wesley, and he kept using different voices of characters that seemed oddly familiar. I'm not sure if I heard them somewhere before, or if it's just ancient gobbledygook from wherever he's from. Uh, the pre see, the president is evil. He ate Louie's cookies. That asshat. Which is Captain's always... log, start okay. Now. I forgot where I was on the character roster, so I'm just gonna say fuck it and move on. <laughs> uh, did we talk yeah. about Q yet? Did we talk about Worf? Wolf is next time. <laughs> <laughs> Engage! Yeah. Captain's log, star date. Now. They got lost in the woods, so we resorted to using data's inner parts to actually leave breadcrumb trail for us way, way back. Unfortunately, we ran out of data halfway through. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sir, that was terrible. You're off the case, Riker. I thought it was Worf. <laughs> I don't know who you people are anymore. <laughs> Knock it out of my room. Engage! I, I think it's gonna be a long, a long, guys, long time. Next time, take your loan from Sky Finance. Trust me, it'll work out better. <laughs> <laughs>